Welcome to Supercon 2018. I'm Veronica and you are? Kylie. Hi Kylie. Tell me a little bit about your outfit. Okay, so I'm, this is typically how I dress, but considering I was in armor earlier today, my friend and I just decided to do casual like sailor scout things. So I love it. So it's really complicated in like the Sailor Moon universe. Um, I'm technically Usagi's daughter, but she was corrupted and became Black Lady, so that's technically who I'm doing. Um, but yeah. So you're a villain? <laughs> yes. I love the lens. The lens have more fun. Supercon 2018, my name is Jim Dexter, and finally we get to see Matt. Matt, tell us about your character. Okay, this is uh, uh, Matt the Radar Technician, uh, SNL skit, Adam Driver, portrays Kylo Ren, uh, an undercover boss, uh, undercover boss of Star Killer Base, and of course he becomes Matt the Radar Technician, who's a total Kylo Ren fanboy. Well, I gotta say, I think he's definitely rocking the, the outfit, it's looking really good. Yeah, yeah. This color really stand out. You definitely won't get hit by a car when you're in traffic, <laughs> right? That's how my friends always find me, because they say, look for the orange vest, look for the orange vest. <laughs> So we're here with Mia. Mia, you're doing an, an amazing anime. What is this anime all about? This anime is called Kill la Kill, and I co I'm cosplaying Ryuko Matsui in her synchronized version. And this is basically when she's fighting. What you're saying is when you're the ultimate fighter at your fighting form, you're a little more risque than usual. You're the most naked. The more naked you are, the more, you are, the more powerful you are. I'm Veronica and you are? Sophia. Hi Sophia, can you please tell me a little bit about your costume? Um, well, I pulled it out of my closet. This wig is from Amazon. Do not look at the back. It's gross. <laughs> and um, I'm feeling really good. So I heard you were in an event earlier. Can you please tell me a little bit about it? I was Hollywood from Cool World. Um, my shirt kept falling down. But that's okay because it helped me win. And I got Best Bad Girl. Awesome. Can you show me a little bit of the moves that you did while you were there? Wow! And that's how you won $100. Well, first of all, I am an artist. <laughs> Second of all, my grandfather was the co-creator of Batman, Bill Finger. Well, Bill was known in the industry. Uh, Bob Kane approached him about the Batman character. He knew that Bill had great stories and they collaborated and Bill basically made everything great about Batman. 
I discovered that somebody created the Batmobile, somebody created um, Catwoman, Gotham, the Joker, and I was like, yeah, Kane. And then they were like, nope, Bill Figure. And I was like, okay, so that changed the whole dynamic, right? So now tell us a little bit about like what's happening now that's changing everything for you because now things are getting settled up, you know? We officially got Bill credit and got his name attached to the Batman name in 2015. For 76 years he was not known. Really unfortunately he was not recognized by Bob Kane formally to be his partner with the Batman character, but you know eventually we were able to correct that and Bill's name is now attached to everything. Lady Deadpool. But people probably want you to be Harley Quinn, right? So I get that so often, all the time. So what'd you think of the last Deadpool movie that came out? It was great. I mean, amazing. We got our Deadpools all out here oh. supporting it. I'm just waiting for my movie to come out, so. Why not? You're gonna be the star in it, of course, yeah, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's your movie, I guess you know you have to have like a, a kill factor. You know, what is gonna be your craziest kill as Lady Deadpool? An infant. here to talk about his podcast and Supercon 2018. Uh, so far, what do you think? It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Um, best thing I've seen was William Shatner earlier today. Um, he did an amazing Q&A. Uh, he is incredibly funny, incredibly witty, charming. It was really amazing. Any cosplays that you've liked so far? Be careful answering this. Uh, you guys? Of course. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, no, that's it. Okay, yeah, we are the only best ones here. Nobody yeah, else. For sure. <laughs> I think there's a good Psylocke over there, maybe. <laughs> All right, can you tell us a little bit about your podcast? Sure. So it's a quasi-weekly podcast where a good friend Gil and I, and we talk about the six things that we've been enjoying, uh, drawing from comic books, movies, music, video games, anime, so all the cool things in life. So it's a good place to get your kind of like nerd news on a weekly basis. Star Supercon 2018. I'm here with Jamal Ephraim, aka KJ, your great favorite creative man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jamal, you are an artistic person. Tell us about your artisticness. Yes, I'm actually working on a Kingdom Hearts based music project right now. I'm actually a producer for, for it. 
it's, it's a uh, it's a music based project that's uh, that covers Joe Kishimura's work and Utada Hikaru's work. It's like covers, remixes, a couple of originals here and there, um, and it's going to be bananas. And on that note, what is the name of this song? Side by side, a remix of Hand in Hand, from Kingdom Hearts One. Take a listen. Well, guess what? We have somebody that won. The campeon. How are you? How does it feel to be a winner? Not real. <laughs> it hasn't settled yet. I don't know what I'm going to spend the money on. Probably more cosplay or just food at this point because I don't think I've eaten in like two days. So, so tell us, who are you all? The, the bedazzlers, what is this all about? Uh, we are Thick Thought. I am the Thought, obviously. We are her protection. Ah, they are the bodyguards, so we're going to be very innocent today. And uh, last thing, in order to become a champion, what did you do? Did you eat a lot of eggs? I know you said you ate no food. I fucking hate eggs, so no. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of working out. No, I just, uh, metabolism and corsets, that's kind of like a secret. Like if you wear a corset, it's like, wow, you have not, like a, such a nice figure. And it's like, <laughs> there's fat in there, you just can't see it. <laughs> Prince Eric, tell us, how do you feel about that Little Mermaid? Because I'm jealous, I wish I could be with her, and uh, you got her, so tell me about her. Nah, man, I left her a long time ago. I've upgraded.
Lovecraft over here with shorter hair. I don't know what happened, but it did happen. We are here with Nina and Delgado. Delgado, I noticed your channel and it really was a maze balls. Tell us about it. I appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, so I, I do love the, the whole cosplay culture that and I do, uh, as far as professionally, I do video production. Well, welcome to the community. You know, I saw him on uh, Megacon. His art is great, so go to his website. Look it on YouTube, it's amazing. Now, Nina, tell us about your art. I saw something that really caught my eye. Legend. Hi, Tim Curry. He's awesome. Everyone's been asking about him a lot lately. What are your inspirations? You two are both artists in a different kind of sense. What got you into art? What got you into art? Who's the greatest artist of all time? Um, what got me into art? Well, I used to draw. And when I used to draw, I used to think about movies, about creating my own cartoons and stuff like that. And as an artist, well, as a cartoonist, you see movements, you see a story. And then I started going, as in, around high school, I saw that as a passion in film, in movies. And directing is pretty much the same vision as a cartoonist. And the greatest artist for me really is Salvador Dali. I love his surrealism. I, I, I like that expression of, as, as far as mixing like people's personalities, as far as that cosplay is one way of surrealism. Um, I think the one that inspired me the most like since I was little was uh, the Batman animated series. Just that whole collection there, just the creators of it really inspired me. With all of this here, it was Hi, my name is Edward Deason. I'm a freelance artist. I'm from Naples, Florida, and I've been uh, practicing art all my life. I usually work with oil and acrylics. Um, my email is artworkbyed at gmail.com. If you like what you see, and I uh, hope you uh, get in touch with me, I'd love to do some work for you on commission. Thanks. Here we are. It is the Supercon 2018. We're here with Mike Linder. Say hi, Mike Linder. Hello. So what brought you about being the DJ of the whole event of Supercon? Um, I used to work for them a few years back. I did start off working for one of their sound guys and doing their after parties. Haven't done it for a few years because I've been busy with other events, but they asked me back this year. So just had a good working relationship with them for a few years. So tell us about your other events. We worked with you the other day doing a Robocop special for Static Realms, our sister show. Yep. And uh, tell us about what you're doing, this whole events that are coming up. Uh, next week at Cash Only, Saturday night. Uh, the 21st, I believe, we're doing a cosplay event that's a monthly event that's launching there. Um, so it's a free event for all cosplayers at Cash Only in downtown Fort Lauderdale. The place you can catch me at monthly, I'm at Stash twice a month for uh, a Retro Wave Saturday, which is the first Saturday of every month. That is uh, like 80s, indie, new wave, like all music video sets. And then the last Friday of every month, we do our goth night, which is Black Fridays. What's the best part about being a DJ? You get paid to play music and drink. It's the only job, it's one of the few jobs where it's acceptable to drink, where they give you free drinks. So it's, it's I can't complain. On that note, drink up, have fun. We'll see you later. Wrapping up Supercon 2018, and we had a blast. Woo! Don't forget to subscribe to the Not So Serious Show. Bam! Subscribe now! Subscribe!